Assalamu alaikum and welcome to a new video where we are going to talk about making uh, basically calligraphy pens out of bamboo in detail. So I've decided to make videos about pens for each type of pen. So of course we're going to start with the most popular one which is the bamboo pen. Now I'm going to show you this thing in nature. So let's go and see it then come back here to know how to make one. So here we've got the uh, bamboo trees and uh, as you can see you've got some of them are yellow others are green but the main thing you need to look at is this. So here we've got a thick one that we could actually use and you need ones that are sort of good length so this one could uh, sort of account for a uh, and a, a full hand length of mine so this is important because some bamboo trees you'll find that they are really short like this one so this can't be used as a pen it's really short like it can but it's not as good as finding long ones and the same thing with regards to thicknesses uh, I would say go for these ones that are yellow in the ground that has been a whole year with green ones takes time to dry and it could be a bit challenging so yeah just go for the yellow ones also you could find them in small sizes like this one over here so we will see these and how to make them and if you couldn't find it in nature uh, that's simple you could just buy it so uh, yeah this isn't mine but uh, I find this somewhere I thought I could show it to you so the philosophy behind pens is that, as you can see, these lengths, you'll see that it points upwards. So this would be the part where the pen would be made. Meanwhile, this part down here uh, can't be made as a pen. So the same uh, direction of the uh, bamboo or reed you would use to cut your pen. So the pen heads would be from the top part not from the lower part of the bamboo it's a philosophy that they should stand high so yeah bamboo in nature comes in several sizes there are bigger ones back there uh, but yeah so the main thing is that for bamboo to be good and strong enough is to try and look for ones that are dry by themselves and it's been a year for them so they basically had the uh, cold weather of the winter so you, let's say it starts from winter and it rains and it gets spring and it gets the nice weather with summer it gets burnt and yellowish and dries really well so you should take it during autumn just like now when i recorded this video so you would cut this during autumn time uh, be dried by the sun and the heat of the summer and we will have a look on how to make it. So you get a piece of what we just saw out there and you could cut it. Uh, this is one of them, like uh, one of the pieces that I've cut. So as you can see here, it's like a variety of uh, heights. As you can see. So if you were to look at it, by the way, this cut is sort of at the end of the uh, bamboo uh, sort of piece. So this is the base. This is the biggest one of them. It's the tallest. So this is at the base. The next one comes shorter. The next one is shorter, etc. This might be actually the opposite. So the more you go up, the higher you go, the thinner the piece is. And this is like the top piece that I've uh, made a pin of out of. The thinner the, the pin is, the shorter the pin is also. Uh, it might be more straight because there's no pressure on it because this is the base one which is bindy. And to fix it, go back to the the, 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 the video that I'm, is going to pop up on the screen right over here where you're going to use a lighter and you simply bend it and you can fix it. So. Yeah, this is with regards to the bamboo. So we've talked about them and to let's say that you don't like you, you found this at the shop and you want to know which part is the 
pointing upward because as we said we have to cut the pen from the uh, upward direction. Look at the pen you will see that just before this end the size of the bamboo actually changes so here it's thicker than here by millimeters it's not like a triangle or shape. It's very delicate you might might be a bit hard to notice at the beginning but it is actually here smaller than here. So you've got yourself a nice set of them. Uh, the length is good. This is the best length for my hand, but those also work. Actually, this even works because I love it because it's uh, light and really nice to write with. So what you're gonna need, if you were young, you're gonna need an adult to do the next moves because this involves a cutter. So you're gonna bring a cutter and although we did this in previous videos, I thought this would be better just to put by itself in a separate video. So I am going to choose this one. As we said, good uh, weight to it, solid, yellowish. The wall thickness is really nice as you can see here. So this is important. And when you cut it, as we said, you hold it this way if you were right-handed and you push with the awl. The thumb that is holding the piece of uh, bamboo is the one that is pushing the knife, so you don't cut with this hand. So you start by measuring a thumb's distance from here. So this is my thumb, I would put it here. And it almost reaches out to here, so I am going to start cutting through here. So you dig in, and depending on the hardness of the bamboo, yeah, this is good, this is really good. Depending on the hardness of the bamboo, this could be an easy task or a bit hard task. Now this was relatively easy, only two strokes and I'm already uh, into the inside uh, edge of the uh, bamboo, which is perfect. Don't eat a lot of it, just once you reach to this part, that would be enough. Uh, this needs a bit more because I can't see, like w when you work on it, in real life, you, you would start to see the uh, grooves and the changes of it and you could actually eat more of it. So, you've got to this point and uh, depending on the type of the uh, bamboo, so sometimes, like, this one is quite uh, ductile, so I can't really cut any uh, from anything from the back, just slightly on the top. But yeah, if it was really rough, you could uh, cut more of this side. But for me, I'm just gonna keep, leave it as it is. So we did this part, which was great. We're gonna take some of the outside of it. Not a lot, just a few. And the importance of this move before the cut is because you need a flat surface so that the pin could sit on and you could cut it. Uh, again, with regards to the angles, each script has its own angle, so make sure to go back and uh, watch the angle for. You're going to need a hard surface to cut the uh, tip with. And with regards to the tip cutting, it, as we said before, it needs to be really pushing it. Like, you shouldn't be uh, sort of sewing it. No, it should be like immediate cut. So here, could be a bit challenging at the beginning but with time you'll get used to it and you'll be able to cut it properly. So here we've done our cut, looks good. As you can see we still have some work to do on the tip here to make it look nice. But the main thing is that you see this angle here, what we're going to do is we're going to make it reach to the edges and here you could actually change the direction of the pen and use this uh, method of cutting because now you are not you don't need a much force with it you just sort of carving it and uh, perfecting it so here we've got this side looking good i know we still have some wobbly edges of it but 
that is going to be our next uh, task, which is getting rid of those. So the first thing, in my opinion, after this move is to take some of the edge here. Yeah, that's good. And some of the other edge here, because sometimes these edges would be damaged. So now you are at the point where the pen is really good and nice. You could start writing with this and it will write perfectly, but we could do extra moves to uh, like be reassured with regards to the, uh, let's say, the quality of the pen. So let's get some ink. Now you can see the cut here is basically a ruqa cut, so uh, what you need to look into while writing is the uh, strokes, especially when the pen runs out of ink. So this is the last stroke. I'm going to continue it just to see how it looks like when there is no ink left in the pen. So this looks good, it doesn't have any bad uh, sort of openings in it that will affect the shape. I've got really nice uh, thinness to the pen, it's very uh, shallow and really thin. So I've got a good feeling to it and we could actually also use it for Diwani. Now with regards to the thickness of the pen, you could use a ruler to decide uh, that. So basically, before you cut, you choose the width of the pen. You would measure it. So this thing's giving me four millimeters, which is something really pretty. And uh, that is basically what you do. You measure it, then you start shaving the edges of the pen like I did uh, the last move, which was this one. You start to shave this edge and this edge after cutting it to get to the size you want. So, uh, I really like this one. Looks really good. So here we're going to write Alhamdulillah. So yeah, here you go. You've got a really nice pen. Now with regards to the inside, uh, as you can see here, it's kind of shifty. So this edge of the pen, like the inside here, like this, uh, this area here, it's sort of a bit bendy. So you could fix that with the sanding paper. I mean, I love to use sanding paper all the time. It's amazing and uh, it sort of gives this final touch to the pen, makes it really soft. It's up to you. Some calligraphers don't use it. They think that it damages the uh, pen. But for me, I use it because it sort of takes off any uh, edges or any parts that aren't uh, flat. So you would simply do this until you uh, feel satisfied with the inside uh, roughness and the inside smoothness of the pen. Just be careful not to damage the tip of it while sanding and uh, not to, to overdo it, that's the thing. You need the pen to stay as solid, as strong as possible. Now with regards to the cut, it should be closer to the outer edge as we can see here. So make sure to keep that in mind while making the pen. And there you go. This way you've got a nice reed pen or bamboo pen. and. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, the next ones would be more into other types of pens. This has been Amara Rardi. Uh
and have a lovely day, evening or night. Goodbye.